Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'm extra excited today because you guys, we are this close. We almost have 20,000 subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Let's make this happen. Can we do it today? It's a big goal, but I think we can do it. And thank you so much to everybody who has already subscribed. So many of you have been here for so long and you're so supportive and I'm so, so grateful to have all of you here supporting me and I just love you so much. So in today's video, I decided that I wanted to share with you guys my top minimalism life hacks. So there are so many little tips little tricks that I have learned over the past few months and I wanted to share some of my top hacks with you guys today. So we're just gonna get right into it. I have a lot, so I'm gonna list them off super fast. The first hack is to get samples. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can get samples from like almost every single cosmetic brand, like skincare, whatever. Everybody will give you samples. This sounds super obvious, but this is something that I did not know at all and I will show I was so surprised the first time I walked into like an Ulta or a Sephora and I asked for a sample of a foundation and they just gave it to me and it was amazing. It was like, why have I been doing this my whole life? I think it is a great minimalist life hack because you're not gonna buy things that you don't like. We've all had the experience that you buy a foundation, maybe they even put it on you in the store and you love it and as soon as you get home, it's just not wearing the way that you expected so you end up giving it to a friend or throwing it away or donating it or whatever and it's just kind of a waste of your time and money. So getting a free sample is a great way to make sure that you love a product before you commit to buying the full you know, size. This is a little sample from Lush that I have right now. They'll give you samples of anything in that store, which I think is amazing. So you don't have to waste your time, you don't have to waste your money, and you don't end up buying things that you do not like. My next hack is to use the library. My mom would be so proud of me for this one because she used to be a librarian, but we used to buy books all the time. We used to buy movies, stuff like that. We would, I don't know you guys, we would just buy like media. And really, especially if you live in the United States, I don't know about every particular country, but use your library. It is a great resource for books, for movies, for educational things, for so many things. The library is a great place. There are so many free resources available and they'll often print stuff for you for free. Um, when I was living in the US, I would like, I would take stuff to the library that I needed to print out and they would do it for free really, really often, even if they said they charge like five or 10 cents a page. If I needed two pages printed, they were happy to give it to me. So it is a great resource for audiobooks, movies, um, music, obviously. You know, the main thing Matthias and I love to use the library for was to get documentaries and watch them because we don't even pay for a Netflix subscription or something like that. So if you wanna get some cool documentaries, check out your library and the best thing is you can give them back, get them out of your life when you are done with them and they don't sit around in your house cluttering up your life. Speaking of printing things out, my next hack is to go completely paperless. And I have moved so many times in the past year and every single time Matthias and I would move, we would have to go buy a printer, ink, paper, blah, 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 and then we'd move and we would literally like give the printer to Goodwill and there are so many printers at Goodwill because they're so cheap. Like it's the kind of thing nobody even buys used because you can get printers so cheap for new. So it was just super wasteful, always buying new printers all the time. So this is the first time we moved that we said, hey, we are not gonna get a printer. If something needs to get printed, I'm sure that there is a way to do it electronically. We buy all of our train tickets with the phone. The conductor will scan them straight from the phone. Um, airplane tickets, you don't have to print them at home anymore. You can use your phone. So basically almost everything can be done digitally. There is an app for it or something. So we do not even use a printer anymore. And if we really, really need to print something, you can go to a library or a print shop, but it is just such like, I don't know, a relief not to have to have a printer at home because printers are very expensive to buy paper and ink and all of that kind of stuff. They're big, they're bulky, they're not very, I don't know, cute in your house. So we are just super stoked to finally give up the printer and go completely paperless. This goes for our bills as well. We get all of our bills electronically into our emails, inboxes, and we pay everything electronic. So this is so much easier than getting um, bills in the mail and yeah. It is just way better. My next minimalist life hack is if you are married to share certain toiletry items. 
So this sounds kind of weird, but Matias and I have actually been doing this for a very long time. So when it comes to shaving cream, body wash, face wash, there's almost always like a male and a female version. We just tend to buy the male version, like the men's shaving cream, men's face wash, the face wash, men's body wash, and I'll use it as well because I don't really care about the smell. It usually doesn't linger that long anyways, and even if it does, you know, men's stuff, it smells pretty good. We're not gonna do it the other way around and make my husband husband smell like pink flowers and stuff because that might be kind of I don't know maybe it's not weird for some people but I don't think that's his favorite thing to smell like so if you are married consider buying like gender neutral type of bathroom products so shaving cream face wash body wash are the main things shampoo um, we tend to buy women's shampoo and then my husband uses it so we don't have so much clutter in our shower and we can save money and yeah we really think it works quite well because what is the difference between men and women shaving cream other than the marketing? Not a whole big difference there. I do have to say though, I am thinking about switching over to like shampoo and body wash bars, especially the ones from Lush. Have you guys tried those out? I really want to try out the Lush shampoo bars and conditioner bars because I just love the idea that they are so small and compact. You don't have all the packaging. You can travel with them. Have you guys used them? Let me know in the comments down below if you have used them and if you have not, should I just go buy some and do a little like first impression demo of the Lush shampoo bars? Let me know. The next hack is to buy clothes that are all the same type of color. So as you guys know, I'm sure you've seen my closet tours, I only wear neutral colored clothing at this point and the reason why this makes your life so much easier is one, everything matches, everything is interchangeable, it's not like you have shirts or pants that can only be worn with certain colors, literally everything is completely interchangeable and that makes my life so, so much easier. Additionally, this makes doing laundry so much more um, time of efficient because we can throw all of the darks together and we just pull out the whites. There is no colors. We don't have to pull out the reds. We don't have to separate it so much. We always do a load of darks. So we'll put the grays in with the blacks and the navies all in one wash. And then usually we just have a very small wash of whites that we do separately. So my white shirts, those are what we pull out, but it makes it very easy. And if you can even switch to all like one color, I think that would be even better. I'm definitely thinking about my wardrobe, how I can simplify it because my husband, he wears only black t-shirts and I'm so jealous of him because he has it so good. It's so easy and you can throw all of his black t-shirts in in one wash and like, yeah, quick and painless. Next hack is very similar and this comes to your um, linens around the house. So your towels and your bed sheets and your pillowcases. My hack is to buy them all in white because when everything is in white, you can throw everything in one wash and it is so easy. Again, you don't have to pull out pink towels and red towels and green towels and wash them all separately because you're scared of things. Bleeding on each other when all of your towels are white it is very easy to keep them all white and bright and they don't get faded and you have to buy new ones. And yeah, you can throw in your sheets with your towels and just everything's white. It's, it's very easy and it's also quite pretty, isn't it? It's quite cute as well. I like how it looks. Next hack is also something new that I recently discovered and this is KonMari folding. And yeah, the reason that I started looking into this is because every single time we would move, we would have to buy so many hangers. You guys watched my last closet tour. I had all of my items hanging up so I could see everything, which is great. However, when we moved, we had to throw away, well, we didn't throw them away. We took them to Goodwill, probably, I don't know, 80 or something. So hangers, it was so many hangers because I had every single one of my shirts hanging up. Plus my husband, every single one of his shirts and all the jackets and everything was hanging up and it was so many hangers hangers and I'm like man I really do not want to buy so many hangers again there has to be a better way to keep your clothes organized so we started doing the KonMari folding method and it is so easy I will put in a little clip here of how you do it it is so so simple of this is that you don't have to buy hangers. You can fold everything and you can see exactly what you own and nothing gets wrinkled this way. You can throw it in a suitcase and I just find that this kind of folding method travels really nicely. Um, it looks great in your closet and I just love that I don't have to buy so many hangers. 
If you're trying to keep your closet to a minimum, a great trick is every time you have a special event, a lot of people tend to go out and buy a special dress for a special event. But what I usually do is borrow something from a family member. So when I was in Florida, I was going in my mom's closet, in my sister's closet to like get an outfit if I needed something for, I don't know, a picture or a video or there's a special occasion. Instead of going out and buying something, I had so many family members that had plenty of clothes that I could borrow and I would give it back and I could save money and I don't have to keep something with me that I don't really use often. I did this recently, like last week when I went to a gala dinner, I borrowed a dress from my sister-in-law and it worked so great. I'm like, I need to do this more. Every time there is a special occasion, ask around, ask your friends, ask your family before you go and buy a dress. I know it is so tempting when you want to look extra special. You feel like you need to go and buy something, but you probably have somebody in your life with a closet full of clothes and I'm sure that they are more than happy to let you borrow it and then you can give it back when you are done and yeah. I like that. Next one is definitely not applicable for everybody, but this certainly works for my husband and I, and that is to ditch your car if it's possible. I get it, if you live in the US, you cannot really get around without a car, it is just not possible. But we have found since we moved to Europe and got rid of our car, oh man, our life is so much more simple. We don't have to go to the gas station all the time where we would tend to buy candy and sweets and junk food and just overall like the unhealthy bad things that they sell at gas stations. We don't have to go get our oil changed all the time. We're not constantly dealing with a flat tire or something like going wrong because you know how cars are. Even if you have a brand new great car, things always go wrong. So we have found that our stress level has decrease significantly since we do not own a vehicle. We feel like it's a very healthy change because we bike everywhere now or we walk if we're just going somewhere close by and it is just such a great way to combine exercising and transport all in one if you can bike and I think if possible, if you live in Europe, if you live in a city, really think about how much you're using your car and if you really need it because yeah, if you can sell it, your life will be a lot more simple and maybe you can even take the money from selling it and put it into something more, I don't know, meaningful to you or just save it up. All right guys, that is all the hacks I'm gonna list today. I do have a few more. I could do another one of these. If you want another one of these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.